Hi guys, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity, back with another Silhouette Studio tutorial. Today I wanted to share with you how I made these, um, the scalloped circle and the scalloped oval in almost no time at all with the replicate panel in Silhouette Studio. I'm using the business edition of Silhouette Studio 4.2 something, so if my um, edition looks different than yours, you might want to um, check out the upgrades for that because you're going to really love um, this new release. Um, first of all, to start my um, scalloped circle, I'm going to go over to my ellipse panel or my drawing tools panel and grab an ellipse and I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm just going to draw a circle here. Let's go. Whoops, release too soon. Let's try that one more time. I want to get this this perfect circle, and I do that by holding down the shift key. Okay, so I have my circle, and I'm going to grab that again, and I'm going to draw just um, a teeny tiny circle holding down my shift key. And now I have that, and I'm going to leave it selected. And I'm going to go to my replicate panel, which is um, right here over on the right hand side. And I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to go to this object on path tool. And I want to click on show grab handle. And that's going to give my little circle here a place to put it on the path around my big circle. And I have perpendicular checked. Um, and so now all I need to do is take my little circle and drag it over to my larger circle. Now it put um, 13 repeats here. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what it does by default, but um, it sort of just populated my little circle around um, the circle. And you can change this number by clicking up. But the other way to do this visually is to take, there's two circles here um, with dots in the middle. And this one, if you pull on it, you can actually pull that apart. Um, but if you take this smaller one, you can slide it toward away from the larger one and decrease the number of repeats so you can see that that number decreased. Or you can slide it toward your grab handle and increase your number of repeats. So if I let go of that, you can see now I've jumped from 9 up to 17. And if I slide these together even more, I want them to be, for my scallop circle, just a little bit overlapping because I'm going to weld this. And let's try about there. I'll click on Release Copies, and that takes away my grab handle. And now if I select all, it's going to select everything. So let's just select this and click on Weld. And now I have a scallop circle that I can use um, on a project, like a card, um, or any other project that you might find that you'd like that scallop circle for. And it works the same with an oval. Um, here I drew an oval. I drew um, the this scallop circle and then offset it so that I have a double layer to have like a little mat behind my scallop circle. So this is a great tool for you to use for making elements for cards and, and other projects. If you liked this tutorial I invite you to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss um, the Silhouette Studio tutorials that I have planned. Thanks for stopping by today, and we'll see you again next time. Bye!